So we are back. The server just had a quick update. Um, I believe the update was just to fix some bugs on Ark's side. Um, one thing I did want to point out on this server, the other stats are pretty normal for leveling, but weight is massively boosted. One level is 250 points, which is going to be really nice. However, that being said, they do not reduce the weight of the stacks on the server. Um, again, we had to switch from Prodigy Gaming to Isla Nicta. Um, unfortunately, we were informed Prodigy Gaming was shutting down at the end of the month permanently um, due to financial issues. Um, this server does have many of the same mods. Um, it changes out some of the decoration mods, so we won't have the aberration decorations, but there are some other interesting ones, um, including one that makes the animals all interesting colored and one that allows for baby animals. If at some point I get near a baby, you will notice an icon show up on my HUD. It will be an eyeball. Speaking of which, there's a baby right there. Um, Theoretically, I'm not getting that eyeball. Oh, mommy angry. If you get too close to an infant, uh, watch out for protective parents. They suddenly get very, very angry. The um, babies, however, are passive tameable. You just have to deal with the parents first. <clears throat> So we are working our way over to the base location we had before. Hopefully it is available. Oh, getting hungry. <clears throat> also, I apologize if my voice sounds a little weird. Everyone at the house is dealing with a respiratory virus and sore throats right now. We actually spent the morning in the hospital a couple days ago. <laughs> Tribe mate showed up and uh, is getting eaten. Well, there are two icky birds in our spot. Okay, so first things first, let's make the tribe. Thank you for bringing that right to me. There no. That's right. <laughs> That kid makes some seriously creepy characters. Why don't you join before you die? <clears throat> I got to love those icky birds. Oh, you oh, just pretty dodo. <coughs> you are still after me, a little jerk. Why well, keep distracting you? Okay, so we're not going to do anything too fancy as far as uh, base building right now. We're kind of just going to make a box that um, we can... Oh dear. Gosh, that thing will not go away. Um, we're just going to kind of make a little makeshift base that'll work for now. And tomorrow <laughs> I'll work on building the base on the building stream. Huh, finally got away from that thing. However, there are far worse things that can spawn over here. <coughs> I 
Okay, we got our flint. <laughs> they are getting killed over there by those icky birds. Also, this server has uh, the N plus crafting station. N plus came out after uh, S plus. And it's essentially the same thing as S plus, only um, it's been updated since. <coughs> Let's get a box. No! Oh, that's unfortunate. Haha, the first signs of civilization. Clothing. <clears throat> now, this server is definitely going to be a little bit slower to level. Um, I believe the server only has a three times XP rate. Uh, so it looks like the server does not have a reusables mod, unfortunately. <laughs> Means we're going to be putting that nice weight capacity to some good use there. See what we unlocked. Still thatch buildings. We might be building this first base in thatch. Because we have to get to level 11 for wood. If you're hearing goat noises in the background, um, two of my kids are playing a silly goat game, Goat Simulator. So as I had said before, we are starting over on a new cluster. Um, we received news at the beginning, of, or a couple days ago, that the cluster we had started on is permanently shutting down at the end of the month. So we have moved to Isla Nicta, which is a server that has very similar mods to the one we were on. And right this moment, I'm working on <clears throat> getting the materials to build a quick little makeshift base. And starting tomorrow, I will build the full base.
That dodo had no skin. Oh dear. See, I swear I had seen another dodo out here. Oh, you're pretty- Oh! Hello! Um, as I had mentioned before, this, uh, server has a mod that allows babies to spawn. And if you get too close to the babies, um, mommy gets very angry. Fortunately, as soon as you get away from the babies, the mother calms down. But that does make pteranodons a lot more dangerous. <laughs> Let's see if we can find another dodo or something relatively easy to kill off. That way we can get enough hide to make a bed. Oh, that is a gorgeous pteranodon. Oh, we found a dodo. May you have some hide on you. The last one did not. Let's see. I don't think I can even make a bed yet. There we go. And that is going to take 40 hide, which means we need to find another thing to kill. And hopefully in this process we will be able to get to the wood tier. I would much prefer not to have to build in the thatched here. If you've never played this game, um, the different tiers of building affect what can break it. Thatched tier being the absolute lowest building tier, and even a little dilo can break it. <coughs> Oh, this guy's not going to give me any hide, but he is really pretty. Now, they did do something a little different with the automation. Um, they do have S plus on, or I mean, the Soul Balls dino storage on this server. Um, they allow for the automation features, but they do not make it easy to use. Um, it is eventually going to theoretically be switching over to tokens to run it, which are 
by time played in game as well as a few other methods to obtain them. And if you saw what just popped on the screen, the server has a mod called Shinies. It allow it makes interesting creatures spawn every so often on the map. And they are sparkly. I believe it affects their stats as well as you're able to get tokens and other goodies if you kill them. If you tame them, you get to keep the sparkly dino. I'm unsure yet if this server has it set up so that you keep the sparkly. Um, some of them on server restart, they do lose that. Okay, so we have our first bed. <coughs> now let's see how close we are. We need three more levels. So let's go ahead and keep harvesting to get ready for building at that tier. Oh dear, let's avoid the baby turtle. That will not end well. Let's see, these should be lighter than the mats used to make them. Oh, we only need uh, 15 hide for the mortar. Let's see, that other Lystro should theoretically still be over here. There he is. Let's see, I think we got it kind of hard to see in the murky water. This server does have fog left on. <clears throat> okay, I'm working on getting to the wood or to the wood tier. We are two levels away. If you head south, um, I am along the beach towards the ocean. Probably I had been up against the rocks and the water at that time. Just be aware there's a baby carbonomies on the way. <clears throat> so if anyone's wondering who I'm talking to, if you look at the chat, Gar is one of my tribe mates. We are working on getting tribe back up. <laughs> How close? Oh. 
Oh, I see the angry Sarko you're talking about. He is caught. He is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So this, it is confirmed. The server has the paleo, the fancy, pretty colored dinos, as well as their normal vanilla versions spawning. So we will find those really pretty parasaurs that I had shown earlier. And we will find the generic ones as well. Okay, I'm at the campfire. <laughs> oh yes, there is an explorer note over here where we are going to be building. Um, planning on doing the same thing I did last time and make it fairly fancy and decorative so people can get to it easily and kind of draws attention to it. I do not have the same decoration mods to work with, but... We will make do. Okay, now we have wood structures so we can get started on the base. Let's just take the engrams for these. Now I'm just going to set the box up right over here in the open since tomorrow we will be doing a stream where we, uh, where I'm going to be working on building the base up. Oh, perfect. Large storage boxes.
Thank you. Oh, isn't this interesting? These storage boxes will snap on the N plus foundations. That is something I've never seen before. Yeah, just maybe. N plus may be nicer than superstructures. <laughs> Aries just dropped one of those for me. <laughs> just let me place this last wall. I have three of them now. You guys are crazy. There we go. All three are placed. And let there be a bed. Let's see, that looks about centered. And now a campfire over here. Quick storage bin over here. Gosh, that would be so nice. <laughs> and then let's get the ceilings. Yeah, I'm just going to make this a flat box and we will make something fancy in the morning. <laughs> now, I am going to try to do the stream tomorrow morning around 6 a.m. like I normally do for building. Um, there is a slight chance that might have to be rescheduled depending on how I feel. Um, we all have a respiratory virus right now, which is making things a little bit difficult. There we go, secured little box. You have a fridge? Oh, you have a dodo or something. Let's go ahead and move these inside. <laughs> this has kind of been a tradition for us um, before we have troughs and metal and everything we need. We generally tame something like a dodo that you can put perishables in. Because a, uh, a fridge obviously will keep things for a very long time. Second is the uh, preserving bin. It keeps things for a little bit less time. And then animals will keep <laughs> things better than you will at least. It's interesting, the large storage bins snap, but the small ones do not. I can now make trank arrows. Also, it looks like they have it set up so that any engram from any map is available. 
so we do not have to wait until we go to a different map to be able to unlock the engram. However, um, we will very likely need to wait till we go to a different map to be able to get the resources. <coughs> so another fun thing that I just noticed, um, I remember seeing it before but I didn't register. This server does have CKF. So we will be able to build the fancy, uh, the fancy buildings at least. Okay, now to see if the water works. A lot of servers set it up so that the irrigation pipes will automatically produce their own water so that you don't end up with miles of piping. And I'm hoping that's the same here. Let's go ahead and set this right there. And moment of truth. We have water. Perfect. Okay. Only have the hide for three bolas. We do need to tame something pretty quickly. <laughs> pretty quickly, like a parasaur or something that we can use to harvest berries. Guess I might actually make a slingshot. Oh, so if you've never um, played Ark before, you probably saw at the top of my screen it said that um, Rafter Claws is on the island. You also see these big glowing gotchas. Um, they look like giant oversized, I don't know, badgers. This is only for the Christmas event, which is probably going to be ending in a day or two. I know some servers are already taking it down, but you can, um, Gotcha Claws will spawn every night and you can follow him around and get presents that he drops, like world drops. And some of the presents he drops, or the presents he drops, some of the items in it will be coal and mistletoe. You can gather those and use it to craft, um, various uh, skins and event decorations or you can um, take and feed the mistletoe or coal one at a time to gotcha claws and what he does is he will produce little gotcha crystals that you can then um, <coughs> You can then crack open and they can have anything from chibis and skins to decoration items to miscellaneous resources and stuff. Um, I might go ahead if we can get a pteranodon in time before they shut the event down. I might see if I can gather some, some of the... Uh, Raptor Claws drops and um, do a stream showing what Gotcha Claws does. I do not know for sure if I will be able to do that in time though. realized I should not have put all of my meat in here. <coughs> okay. 
Oh yes, one thing if you watched the other stream um, on the other server we were doing. This server is a little bit different. Um, the other server had a mod that when you died all of your stuff went back on in your inventory. This server does not have that. Instead it has what's called a corpse finder. It is, it costs one stone and it will lead you to your body. And you still, <laughs> but you still have to actually go, uh, go to your body and get your stuff. Okay, I just made two bows. Awesome, thank you. Okay, let's see if we could find a parasaur or something that can harvest berries, but is should be able to be tamed with 23 arrows. Okay. Is it on the beach, or...? Okay, these are the glowing, the gachas that I was talking about, gacha claws. Um, normal gachas you can only find on Extinction and possibly some of the lighter maps. But during the event, they are all over the place. let that guy just hang out there. Oh, I would love to take you home. You ever want uh, berries? A Bronto is the king of berries. Yeah. 
I have a low level pteranodon on the ground. Yeah, I saw him. I was coming. <laughs> Gar has a thing for the little monkeys. Oh, there is a Sarko right over there. Let's hope he stays over there. And there are Truidons up the hill. This is definitely not a nice place to be. <coughs> if you've never experienced Truidons, especially at night, they have a torporing bite and they go absolutely crazy when their eyes are glowing, especially. Which is unfortunate because there's a Parasaur up there that I would love to take with me. Now this is how passive taming works. You have to stay back, stay low, and feed them. Oh, I really hope that Tylo does not come over here. That will destroy the tame real fast. There we go, we got him. No, 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 not that way. We are going to go back this direction. There are a few creatures over here that we are not quite equipped to handle quite yet. Um, that being said, we could pretty easily tame one of the Dylos. But what we really need is an herbivore. That way we can get some berries more reliably. Ooh, Dymo. Also, uh, Gar, we have a level 25 Pteranodon taming. <coughs> Not yet. <laughs> Let me just make sure this guy's auto taming before we walk off. see 23 so not too too far off but yeah we won't be able to ride this guy quite yet but he'll need to uh level up a bit before he'll be able to handle any weight anyway <laughs> well that's not something you see every day <laughs> Ares was killed by a pteranodon. I can only assume it was a uh, angry mommy. Okay, it is auto taming. What's attacking me? What the heck? the Arnus. Of course. <laughs> Those icky birds are absolutely relentless.
Hey, there's your monkey. And apparently Gar is naked in the house. <laughs> Oh my. That is the birthday suit skin. Looks absolutely ridiculous on a female because the entire half of the body is, uh... Oh! Oh, I ticked off the pteranodon. Yep, I'm going swimming. Best way I can think of to get rid of her. Now if this was real life, she would just dive in after me. Pteranodons commonly would eat fish and therefore would have no problems eating me down here. Um, be aware there's a Dilo and a Therizino just up the beach from where your body is. And I see another Sarko. I'm not seeing a lot of herbivores. At least not early tames. If I was you, I'd take the high road. There's a Sarko over there on the beach. <laughs> I wish you the best of luck. I'm taking the high road. Just as likely to die up here. There are... This is a high raptor and occasional carno spawn zone. Although, to be honest, I wouldn't mind taking a pet raptor home. Anything good in the drop? <coughs> so very likely to be vanilla drops on this server. Oh, interesting. No one's built up here. Dodo. <clears throat> it is fleeing from something, though. I also just found one up here as well. Let's see if we can get this guy. 135. Oh! Um. Paleo, uh. Parasaurs, not nice. And they don't bola. That was not expected. So, um, the pretty, uh, <laughs> parasaurs are vicious. Okay. 
Never thought I'd get my butt kicked by a, uh, parasaur. At least not outside of PvP. I somehow missed that. <laughs> Sorry, Gar. Apparently Gar got beaten up by one earlier. And I found a flock of Therizinos. Oh, I cannot wait to tame one of those guys. Those guys are amazing harvesters. Of pretty much everything but berries. They're great for wood and fiber, decent for thatch. But they're one of the few dinosaurs that cannot actually feed itself. Let's see what's down the hill. I see a turtle. There's a Bronto over there. There is a distinct <laughs> lack of normal parasaurs. Packies can harvest berries, right? Oh, let's steer clear of that baby pteranodon. Question is, can I knock out this packy in 20 arrows or less? Yeah. Aim for the head would not end well. Back up. Before it eats me. Ooh, stop looking at me. If this guy breaks free, I am absolutely dead at this point. Help! Oh, Help! Oh, yep. That's that. So the easy answer is... Not gonna knock out the packy very easily. <coughs> and we are completely out of hide. So the way the death helper works, it's easiest if you put it in your hotbar, you activate it, and it will point to the direction that your body is. When you get close enough to your body, if you push it, if you're, say, over the top of it because it's underground or in the wyvern trench, it will automatically pop the stuff up into your body. And if I recall right, it will work for pets' bodies as well. Although it has been over a year since I've used this mod. Oh, yep. That was mommy. Hello. 
Oh, hello, hello. We are going to speed this up just a little bit. <laughs> I did not realize I was being stalked by a Sarko. Uh, looks like he is very slow and I lost him. Also, without the Death Helper, the arc in general, when you get close enough to your body, will have this green pillar. When you use the Death Helper, as you get closer, it will also add a kind of purplish pink pillar as well. Kind of weird that that's offset like that. Like guard didn't fare quite as well with that Sarko as I did. Oh no. Kidding. Um, what the heck? What is with the psychododos? Oh, mommy, angry. Because there isn't one adolescent dodo over here. <coughs> well, that's a new, <laughs> new experience. Hey, free meat. And then you flew. Dodo rounding up. You look more hurt. No running away. And you look pretty hurt. Harvest these two. <laughs> I name each of you Bola and Raptor. Future Raptor. You do have to be careful not to hit that guy. He will make for a very swift death. <laughs> That was definitely lucrative. Let's see, 
subscribers what we're missing. <coughs> I apologize for all the coughing in the background. Everyone is sick here. see how strong are you 85 there's a circle over there That is one of the Paleo Stegos. These guys are absolutely gorgeous. Got some Allosaurs over there. I guess we are going to see if we can deal with this guy. He's decently low level. And he would make a great taming aid if we can get him. I only have 10 arrows, so... That was just barely enough. Now let's hope nothing comes over and eats up. <laughs> oh, yes, I forgot this has a shop. How do you get into the shop? Huh? F3. This shop allows you to get kibble for free, which is interesting. Oops, I'm clicking on everything but what I need. Oh. I'm not seeing kibble anywhere. It looks like they may have removed it. Never mind. No free kibble. Let's go back to feeding this guy normally. Looks like he's going to take about three bites, so not too bad. I'll be honest, I actually kind of like that they got rid of the free kibble because now we can earn it, which is a little better. Oops. Oh, and we just unlocked the stone tier of buildings. do you have to be scorpion saddle is reasonably easy to make I don't think I have the hide for it though oh I might 
I am missing some fiber. Perfect. Make it a lot more likely that we will get this guy home, too. Come on, buddy. One more bite. There we go. We have a scorpion. It is a little baby scorpion, but it is a scorpion nonetheless. And I believe they actually make the yep, they reduce they increase the spoil time or decrease the spoil time. So they are a really quick easy way to get lots of spoiled meat. Oh, but you can only do it one at a time. Okay, I'm going to switch out the bow I have. Not that it means much right this second. And we are going to try and get this guy home safely. Maybe level him up a little bit on some easy to kill things. Yeah, and you need to stick with me and stop running ahead. <laughs> oh, angry mommy. I'm gonna have to run in to save my thing, and I need to have enough stamina to get through. Does not have much life. Is your long. monkey still alive? Nice. There it is. Okay, let's get this guy some levels. Can you pick up Snuggles, please? Yeah. Now run away. Let's see what level you are. 90. Oh, you lost your moss chops. Uh, okay, I kept my monkey. <laughs> Let's get in there and get this guy dead. How much life do you have, buddy? How much torpor do you have? Did you get my dead body, Ari? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, can I have all of my everything, please? Including my poop monkey? Okay. Can you just drop all, please? Let me get some stamina. Up. Now run. Tarko. Is the Sarko still alive, I take it? Oh, Meganera. And the Sarko got me again. 
And that got snuggles. Oh, that's a baby Chalicotherium. We are going to give that guy a wide berth. some of that torpor sink in. Looks like you're getting sleepy, buddy. You're running away. Haha, <coughs> <coughs> -ha, got one of them asleep. Let's see if we can get the other one. Flea mode, that's a good sign. There we go. Leave you to heal up a little bit, buddy. Let's check on you. 135 female. That's not a bad helper. And then you are a paleo. 135 paleo. Let's get you healed back up. <coughs> Oh, pretty demo. Now we are going to have to figure out how to get past that guy. I might have to go up and around. I'm not sure that we can race past him. That, that's, you can kill him probably, look at your, you can kill him. Go you think? Him. Yeah, just go ahead first and go and kill him. He should be at half-life or less, theoretically, unless he's healed. That's the one that's got my body. If, if you kill him, my body's right underneath him. I'll just kill him. Oh, oh, there is Chalico with the baby. Um, it still shows you... Yeah, it's chewing at my body. No, because I just respawned. 
Scorpion versus Sarko. I don't know that this is gonna end well. <laughs> oh, he took me off! Get on the scorpion! No, help the scorpion. Uh. Otherwise, he'll be taking off. Alright, we got this in time. Oh, please don't kill the scorpion. Scorpions have thousands of lives. There we go. Oh, thank God. I'll bring your body back, don't worry. I have my two Dylos taming up there. Oh, okay, I'll bring the body and the scorpion back. And then you can ride it back up there. That's gonna allow a respawn. The scorpion cannot carry very much weight. No. The scorpion doesn't weigh too much. Oh, I spawned actually north. Perfect. There you are. Okay, let's see about getting past that guy really quick. Is that your body or my body? Uh, that's garbage. He is- oh, that's right! They produce, with Kraken's Better Dinos, they produce scorpion venom, which is the equivalent to, uh, narcotics. Remember, it increases the spoil timer, or makes the it spoil faster. Oh, okay. <laughs> take that what? Oh, thank you. I'm trying to sort out what was on. I think that's Did you see the pretty Dylos? That paleo it, face is something else. They both were 135s. Nice. Now the curious thing, can they, are they, I don't know. They're both girls. I'm curious if paleos and normals can breed or not. We'll have to try and tame a male Dilo and see what it does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take these two home. And did anyone ever pick up that pteranodon, or does it still exist? <laughs> oh, big issue. That will make very quick work of these dilos. Let's see if we can- why- what? Oh. Well, I guess that's one way to get him away from the Dylos, at least. Oh, 
on the unsurprised. <laughs> Beta is a good charm for that. Ooh. Oh, if that guy lands, he is mine. Okay, I might have to fight Hauntra for him, but still. And you landed, buddy. Let me. He's gonna take three pets. This right here is my favorite of the um, shoulder pets on this map. It is actually an Animals of Atlas creature. And the males have the fancy feathers on their head that looks more like a cockatoo. And the females look more like macaws with the smooth head. There we go. The macaws also have this fun effect, if you notice in the bottom right, where they uh, essentially have an effect similar to wearing ghillie. I don't know if it stacks with the ghillie, but it is probable that it will. Oh. Why? The problem is that I can involve it and I know the case for it. I might be an adult. And it was much younger than the fact that I saw. We have an adolescent time. baby birdie here. Did you guys know that? Yeah. Yeah, very I did that. Okay, it has food. Let's see if I can get you guys in the house all right. At least these two are safe. <laughs> a little bit out of the way over here. There we are. Oh, did you want to pull any spoils before I and hide? We can make another bed. Let me make a bed while we're here. We're having issues with bed respawn timers.
<laughs> Don't stop in the doorway, please. Also, thank you. Okay. I have unlocked, when we can start getting metal, I have unlocked the ability to make crossbows. Perfect. I think you kept the metal that I had, so... Had someone come and picked up this pteranodon, or did it sploot? Because he is definitely gone. Now, scorpions, if you've never played with them, are excellent swimmers. And their attack does torpor, although it torpors fairly slowly. That's why I was able to knock out those dilos, but it did take a little while. Not surprised. There's uh, sarcos and stuff over there. Oh, it's a little combi. Oh, combi does not have a lot of life. <laughs> Mummy Dodo is very angry. Ah, you kept my berries. It said mommy was angry, but I did not see any mommies. Oh, hello, shark. Sharks.
Looks like uh, compies are outside of the range of things that a scorpion can tame. Ooh, you only want majos. That I'm aware of. It just doesn't seem like they um, have enough life to torpor ratio. Because they lose their torpor pretty fast. Okay. If we are lucky, you will want something I can give you next. Oh, I would love to take this Moss Chops home. Moss Chops is another one of the really good berry harvesters, so if we can get this guy, that will make up for not being able to find a Parasaur. Just have to wait for him to actually want to eat again. What am I missing? Hide. Now, passive tames have an invisible cooldown timer. And depending on the creature, some of them take a very long time. Diplodocus, for example, take a good about 5-10 minutes before you can feed them a second time. This guy shouldn't be nearly that bad, hopefully. Well, you know what? That is something we can manage. We need some flint and some stone really fast. This would be a lot easier if it wasn't so dark. Okay. Just need to find some stone really fast, some rocks. Of course, I'm on the part of the beach that has very little. There we go. Now he wants some cooked primes. Fortunately, Gary had given me some. Primes that I can cook really fast. Okay, 
man. There we go. Fair shot. Um, you know what? I will come back to that in just a second. Okay, this structure is glitching and will not let me repair it to a point at all. Actually, let me um, pick it up. And now we have the bare minimum of a reasonable meat harvester, excellent meat spoiler, and we have a berry harvester, which will allow us to increase our production of trank arrows so that we can start working on taming some of the bigger creatures. Um, we do need to secure a flyer Or, well, we need the flyer to grow up. We do have a flyer that is still a baby. And then we will be able to go get the crystal that we need for uh, soul balls. Oh, dear. We got another Sarko. That so this guy can actually fight too. 
more mouths on this thing better. Or he's just gonna sit there and not do anything useful. That fits Ark. Oh, and we have a raptor now. Never a dull moment. Now I am going to get us, before I worry about assessing health, away from that Diplodocus. I don't know, that's actually Bronto. Never mind. Worried for nothing. Um, Diplodocus on this server with Kraken's better dinos actually have attacks that can damage. And they're just as tenacious as they are normally. <coughs> They even have an attack that will dismount you from your pet. Okay, we should be good to heal for a few moments over here. <laughs> heal before something else jumps out at us. And that should be enough to get us home safely. What are we low on? Meat or berries? Okay, I'm bringing a, uh, it was a 145 moss chops home. This guy is to stay near the base for berries though until we get something better. Ooh. Spectral Paleo Arc Kentro <laughs> and a Dreary Rainbow X Meg. Um, why is the Tyranodon flying away? It's a baby and it's fleeing and I'm getting attacked by something. What? Oh. Um, <laughs> we are in lag from a world save. I am hoping we can actually get that guy to come back. Okay. I got him to follow. I'm taking him away. I just didn't want him flying off over the ocean where we'll never see him again. It's it might be aggro to the base itself, honestly. <laughs> they do that. That's pretty normal for those guys. We have an Ichthyornis currently attacking the base and <coughs> causing general mayhem, which is normal for them. 
we may in a future video need to uh, stop by the swamp and pick up some plant species X seeds. Generally, Plant Species X is extremely useful for uh, PvP because it will slow um, enemies down. But if you live anywhere near the beach where Ichthyornises are, it is also useful for getting rid of them. I'm not sure yet with the N+, plus. I know with the S+, plus structures and the superstructures, you can make a special um, plant species X turret that allows you to set up targeting so it will only hit certain creatures or certain types of um, <laughs> enemies. I am hoping it's the same here. Um, just over by the- down the beach a few feet. I'm going right back to him. I was just doing this while I was waiting for you to kill that. Figured I'll get us some more berries. Um, he's got everyone following him. Please do me a favor and baby that thing until we can get some other predators. That guy was honestly a really lucky find. Don't forget, he's got a fair bit of spoiled meat on him, and this guy should be producing a fair bit of narco berries as well. Yeah, I've got a thousand narco berries. <coughs> That's why I wanted him. What's on the front box? Oh, out oh, oh, outstanding. <coughs> Yay, metal tools! <laughs> that and that crossbow is going to be delightful. Oops. I should pull the arrow out of that <coughs> before I drop it. Okay, let's get this stuff put away. Just note he was on follow before. 
<coughs> Ooh. Don't mind if I do. It's only a level 25, but that thing is gorgeous. Maybe, since he's in the base, this one will actually tame properly. What am I doing? Let's see what level this guy is. Another level 25. They are all low level. <coughs> Oh, I almost walked right into an icky bird. <laughs> hey guys, I found an explorer note up here. Just up from the base. Uh, north. Didn't you like these guys? He's going to break free before he goes to sleep. Yep, there he goes. <coughs> Complete waste of arrows there. Oh, he fell asleep right over here. And, uh, no, that's one of the special pteranodons. Or, I mean, parasaurs. <laughs> I'm getting the words mixed up. Hi! Hey, buddy. Oh, you've got a baby, don't you? Why are you trying to eat me? I have an angry trike for some reason, and I did not touch it. Angry mama. It's not saying angry mama. It was. See now, look. Oh. <laughs> I don't want your baby. You can keep your baby. Ah. For some reason, she is not actually attacking me though. Like, she is charging and coming right up to me, but she is not. She would have me dead by now. But she keeps bringing her baby with her. 
Go away! <laughs> There we go. On the tracks finally went away. <laughs> that was kind of funny. So trikes, if you haven't played with Kraken Spider Dinos, are a little different than what we're used to on normal maps. They are a lot stronger, and they are actually bigger. <laughs> yeah, as Gar said, bigger, faster, and stronger. If that trike had actually decided to attack me, I would not be standing here anymore. And there would be literally nothing I could have done about it. Okay, let's give you those. Oh, wow. These guys do not auto-tame, apparently. Yeah, spoiled meat spoils. Not normally. Always not normally. does. It always has. Sometimes doesn't. That's only if they set it up as a server setting. Yeah. Oh, Okay, yeah, we're gonna back up and go over here to harvest. Oh, and the Tranodon's done down there. The guy with the camera on a little bit of the gaming screen. It was fantastic. I got a Terrafar, a Dino, and a Yisman. Oh, Ares has saved the day, and he managed to get us a... I almost came to him for a month today. I died. Parasaur. That's fine. They got you. That's fine. So as soon as we can make a Pteranodon saddle, someone needs to uh, go get us some crystal. I was going to say, I'm going to volunteer Gare for that one. <laughs> oh! Oh dear, I just realized what's going on with those Therizinos, and that is a mommy and baby. That is not something I want to take off. And I just found an egg. What the heck is this an egg for? A fertilized Moa egg. That moa I knocked out had laid an egg, apparently. Oh, why are you guys sitting on top of the moa? Okay, that's just mean. Okay, Pteranodon, I'm gonna set you over there because if things get bad, I don't want you. Yeah, what are you doing? Dead. You're Putting garbage. I am going to have to go check on this guy. Get him out of the place, So just so you guys know, um, if you go to tame a MOA on this server, they do not auto-tame. You will need narcs, narco berries or narcotics. Thank <laughs> you. 
Not there. It's all right. We're letting this one run a little later than normal, just because we're trying to get everything back on our feed from having to switch servers. Oh, oh, please be a higher level. Please be a higher level. <laughs> uh, higher level and it's actually a level 15. Okay. Definitely not a higher level. Mayhaps you will be more delightful. Oh, 55, that is an improvement. Um, there is something or someone getting attacked up here. Gare, do you need help? Oh, okay. You are over near, so just be careful if you come over here too far. Oh, oh. Pteranodon's getting attacked by... I don't know what. Oh, god. Bug killed it. Pretty blue pteranodon is dead. Well, I have a level 55 on the ground taming. That one will be a much better one. And that is banking on this Dilo not deciding to come say hi. This is unfortunately another female, so we won't get to test out our question of if they are able to uh, interbreed with the normal ones. But she's a good, nice, high level. Oh dear. I really, really, really hope that Moa does not stand up with them right there. Might just lose all our tames. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on, quickly. There we go. <clears throat> Okay, that guy's auto taming. And I think that might have been our other pteranodon. Yep, we lost the level 13, or the level 15 and the level 20. Five. <coughs> the 55 is taming just fine right now, though. Thank you. 
And that should be good as long as uh, Mommy Trike does not decide to eat it. <laughs> Thankfully, it looks like she is wandering off and that guy only needs one more bite. And the level 55 Tyranodon is up. Let's take a look at you really fast. Okay. Now let's get you guys home. Hopefully without ticking off the trike or the Therizinos. Hey, is that a boy? That is a boy. Can you bring him back? I want to see something. <coughs> He's a very low-level boy. Actually, you know what? If you just bring him over here, it'll answer our question. Go ahead and hop off. Does not look like they're mate boosting each other. Yeah, no. Let me get him off follow. Yep, nope. The paleos are their own creature. Okay. The paleo animals and the normal animals are not interbreedable. Okay. Get you guys off follow. Okay, go ahead and bring her inside. <coughs> Not sure why I'm babying my Dilo so much, but this is what we're doing. <coughs> Although, to be fair, she is practically our wedding colors. I'm going to go ahead and put the fertilized moa egg on the, uh, on our fridge.
That is true. Let's see what it's going to take. What level is it? 60. It is too cold. That was enough. Yeah. It is going to take 26 minutes for that to crack, so we are probably not going to finish cracking that this time. Okay, that's tamed, that's tamed, that's tamed, and that's tamed. Oh, isn't that glorious? You gain almost 200 levels on even a low-level Pteranodon in weight. Three levels and that thing is more than able to carry us. There we go. If I can manage to harvest eight metal. That's fine. I'm just gonna see if I can harvest enough for the um oh. trough. Theoretically I should be able to get enough out of the rocks out here. Yep. Got enough in the first rock. Thank you for the metal tools, by the way. Metal really does make everything better. The only thing better than metal we will not get until the last map that we play on, and that is a text writer.
Okay, we have a trough set up for the animals. Ooh, and there we have a new Tyranodon. Nice and conveniently here at the base, and it's just a level 20. This server definitely does not favor the higher levels. I already named that one. And Gar is just two levels away from being able to make the Pteranodon saddle. And then we will be able to go and get the crystal we need to ball these guys up and put them away for the night. Oops. The only question is going to be if we have the keratin and chitin to do it. <laughs> Oh, nice. And we've got... this guy is too cold now. <coughs> I guess because we're getting near nightfall. <laughs> Okay, let's go 
I'm sure this is in a position we'll be able to get to the baby easily. There we go. Now, like last time, we are going to be saving this tree. Um, Ichthyornis just made a mess of the base. Fortunately, we have the baby following someone. So I don't think we anyone ran off. Definitely going to have to put some turrets up in this area. <clears throat> oh, there's two more. Oh, that ought to make things exciting. One of the Ichthyornises is a female. You know what? I am going to keep that guy there until we redo the base, because that's just <laughs> funny. What? <laughs> He's standing on the anvil. Or she is. Still not quite the level. Just cross it. Perfect. Seriously? Ah, 
I am crafting 230 trank arrows. That moss chops definitely helped. <laughs> There's 94 trank arrows in the bin for you. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the moa egg. Put him in the dodo for the moment. That way we can go get the crystal we need. Don't forget to grab your trank arrows, Kar. Um, on the roof. We got ticked off when, uh, we got attacked. What you doing? Don't forget to have food for him. Okay, stamina is just going to be terrible on this thing no matter what we do. Do you want to go together or... Yeah. So one of the things you can do with these animals is you can um, add torches to their saddle. I think we could put food on. Oh, that's unfortunate. What was intentional? You killing a raptor? No, that was not intentional. I got knocked out. Oh. No, you need bigger things than that. Can I eat a blue jay? Yeah, it's yours. Now it's going to be hard pressed to figure out what's uh, low enough level to kill without a spyglass. Which will be one of the nice things we can get with this. Um, be aware, Alpha Raptor. I'll stop over here. Just be aware there's an Alpha Raptor down there. Like, right under you. <laughs> Ooh, pretty spino. 
It looks like the uh, special Spinos frills glow. The Paleo Spinos. Oh no. You need to be super careful. It's definitely not a spino. Ah, uh, die low. Oh, we're mate boosted. I think there might be another Dilo. <coughs> Play to ah, uh, dragonflies. The bane of the arc. Those evil dragonflies. How are you doing as far as life? Of course you. That's right, force feeding is a really quick way to regain stamina too. Okay. <laughs> up, up, up. There's going to be plenty of metal rocks up at the top, and there's no spawns. Oh nice, not hypothermia. No hypothermia up here. <laughs> yeah, hyperthermia. You are correct. And getting naked did not help. Okay, first thing to check. Do soul balls have weight? Soul balls are weightless. Perfect. Hey, are you crafting soul balls? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, 
Well, well, that bites. If you stay here, I can fill up your weight, though. My pick still got quite a bit on it. Are you too full? I can take some of that off if needed. Guess I should check on my bird. Oh, we're good. I think I gave my bird a lot more weight than you did. It is, yes. <laughs> Their weights really weren't that different to start, though. I put three points in stam and gave up. <laughs> These birds really don't level stam very well. Especially being super low level. Mine was only a level 55. So before we go Argent taming, we're going to need to fly around and see if we can find some better Tyranodons. That'll be, I think, next video, though. This Saturday. Now when we put everything away we might want to leave the di or the scorpion loose in the house so he can keep producing the um, scorpion venom. That is a fleeing... What the heck is that fleeing from? Is there a Dryptosaur? That's a Dryptosaur. Ooh. Gar is facing a Dryptosaur that's staring at him, which is an interesting Animals of Atlas creature that I really, really want to play with. It has this really weird beauty effect roar. But it makes your screen all wiggly and hard to see anything. And um, more than that, it can camouflage itself. So it's really, it can go invisible like a rock drake for a period of time or a shadow moon. And I had just barely tamed a level 5 on the other server. But, um, obviously that server is not sticking around, so we are going to have to do that again on this server. And we'll get to play with it here. Now this server has been making, um, making adjustments to itself to ensure that it can keep growing and keep going. So there is no sign in the future of this one shutting down. 
unfortunately, it seems to be a problem in a lot of servers right now where, um, yeah, it has a lot higher population. But it seems to be a big problem on a lot of servers right now as we're approaching Arc 2. The devs are kind of backing off of the official servers. They've announced they're not going to be doing events anymore. Because of that, um, the servers are generally just having a really hard time getting enough population to justify continuing on. Which is really unfortunate for those of us who still do play. Okay, now I just need for this to finish crafting. And we should have enough weight capacity to get home at that point. I have one bullet left. Remember the Diplodocus have an attack and can dismount you. Let's see where we are. Still really heavy. I am kind of stuck. Oh, okay. If you were talking to me, that would not be possible yet. So right now I'm just kind of wandering around waiting for these soul balls to craft. The soul balls have no weight and I over harvested. 
and I'd rather not have to drop all that yummy metal because we definitely are going to be needing it. Yes, I dropped all my stone. <coughs> and I only have a little bit of obsidian. Which we will need obsidian to be able to make a nanny eventually. There are Trank Arrows in the front box. Ooh, I'm an explorer note. Hey, do not knock me off. Oh, I should have got that with him. Let's see, what does it take to make an awesome spyglass? Fiber hide and a tiny bit of wood. Those large bear traps, I don't know if you guys have ever used them. If you haven't, um, they are an awesome taming aid specifically for jiggas. Because you can make a little box for the jigga, lure it into the opening, and that bear trap, it'll only hold it for a few moments. But that bear trap will hold it just long enough to be able to put a gate in the front and completely block the Jigga in. Which can definitely be a lifesaver. Now you are a sight for sore eyes. Oh, please stop knocking me off. Shoot it, Ares. Oh, you dumb bird. Oh, he's hurt too bad. He is not going to be tameable with a crossbow. That's unfortunate. was perfect. I think I might have the primes all on me. We are almost at a level that we can move now. Almost there. Let's see, there's Argent and some Allosaurs. Mm -hmm. We probably don't want to go that way.
<laughs> I did see that. The guys managed to knock out and are currently taming an Argentavis that Gar lured back to the base. That is our first real good bird, although it will be a little while till we can ride it because we have to get to the level to uh, make the saddles. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, we do not want to play with that guy. Let's go back this way. Stop playing. But hit. So duties, when they get take too much damage, they curl up into a little ball. So we just need to wait for him to uh, get up, although he is starting to lose torpor. We need to let him heal, but we need to try to keep his torpor from dropping as much as possible. Now, sometimes they glitch like this where it looks like they are uh, not balled up. He actually is still balled up right now. Well, 
there we go. He is back up and moving. It's not gonna last for long, but... No, 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 no. That cat is sitting on my keyboard. If I do not get to either get a bed made or a few standing torches, I am going to be in trouble here in a second. And to be able to make some standing torches, I need wood. Cat! That's not good. I don't think that's going to be enough. All I need is enough to Okay, this is a problem. Enough to make it so I'm not getting hypothermia. If I can make it to that tree, I should be able to do just enough. Okay. Try to get this made really fast. There we go. Okay, that should be enough to let me get back down to the uh, duty and my pteranodon, which are right over here. Oops. Yes, that's what I needed. Let me turn this on again. And let's see if we can finish knocking this guy out, or at least get him closer again. No, 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 no. There is a Arno that way, and I don't want you dying to that guy. He is almost there.
<laughs> well, with them taming Argents already, we will be pretty close to where we left off on the last video, the last episode. Um, we do not have saddles for them, but as far as tames that we have, we will be closer. This duty will also make a big difference as far as building. <coughs> hey, buddy. Oh, you just uncurled the poop. Okay. <laughs> he is not quite actually uncurled yet. Just put all that, including the seeds, in the bin, in the trough. Transfer tool. Come on, buddy. There we go. <coughs> and then this guy is usable again. So all we need to do is wait for him to stand up, and we can head back to base. Glad I did not go down the hill. There's a Paleo Acrocanthosaurus down the hill. Pretty sure that would make short work of us.
Okay, so we are just sitting here waiting for the duty to um, finish taming. That'll make it a lot easier for us to get stone <laughs> for building the base. Um, hopefully I'll be able to work on the base tomorrow morning around 6 a.m. As I said, I am sick with a respiratory virus right now, as is the entire family, and have a pretty bad sore throat right now. So there is a chance tomorrow's might be canceled and I might be sleeping in. Um, if I'm able to, though, I will be doing the stream at 6. Um, otherwise, the next major ARC stream, which will be the official chapter 2 of this, where we will be working on taming mostly battle pets that we can ride and um, possibly some other bigger things once I get a trap made. Um, that will be likely what most of the next video will entail. Um, hopefully also we will tame a Therizino for wood which uses basically the same taming method that I use for rexes and other large predators. Um, again, I apologize for not speaking as much during this video, but again, sore throat. <laughs> we are getting close to wrapping things up for this video. We went a little bit long because we were trying to get as close to where we left off on the other server as possible. We have switched to Isla Nicta due to finding out that the Prodigy Gaming server is shutting down permanently at the end of the month. And since we would like to go through each of the maps from beginner to boss, we just would not be able to do that in the timeline of a video once a week. This server is looking like it is going to last for the long haul. It's got most of the mods that the other server had. Um, it actually added a couple dino mods, one that makes for these paleo fancy colored dinos. Another one allows for babies and nests to spawn. Um, if you get too close to a nest or to a baby, the mothers will get angry and attack you. <laughs> That includes even dodos. I got attacked by a swarm of dodos earlier. Fortunately, that just meant a nice feast, but... So, anyone that's interested in a fun server, this server has a pretty decent population. It has all of the main maps 
including uh, Ragnarok as well. And it is called Isla Nicta. Now, so far, what we've managed to do this met or this uh, stream, we started our new characters and tribed up. We uh, managed to find that our base location that we wanted and had in the last video is available on this map. So we made a quick little um, nine foundation box <laughs> for temporary sake. Um, we managed to tame some of our first dinos. Actually, um, one of the first ones I tamed was a scorpion that helped us knock out a few other dinos. We managed to get some pteranodons and get to the level to saddle them. And we have gone up to the volcano. We obtained crystal for soul balls and spy glasses and a bunch of metal that we're going to be able to use for tools and other things. Um, Gar headed back before I did because his pick broke and he was able to bring back an Argent and they have been knocking out Argents at the base. Oh, they only managed to knock out one Argent. I thought they had brought another one. And I have knocked out a duty while I was waiting for soul balls to craft to loosen my weight. And this guy is almost done. We're about halfway there. I think for right now, we're going to go ahead and cut the video off here. Um, the only other thing that is going to happen, we're going to wait for this guy to stand up, which is probably going to take about another four to five minutes. And then I'm going to be flying straight back to the base. We're just going to be putting the pets away and going ahead and calling it a day. So instead of making you guys sit here and wait for all of that, um, we're just going to go ahead and cut it off here. Thank you for watching. Again, we are on Isla Nicta now because the other server was shutting down. And thank you for watching. If you want to hit that follow button, we will be uh, doing this once a week on Saturdays from 4 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And we will be progressing from beginner to end game on each of the maps in chronological order and uh, I also do a stream on Sunday mornings of a random game Wednesday mornings for building in various games um, hopefully tomorrow if I am not too sick we will be working on building the base here for our building stream so I hope you have a good night or a good day depending on where you are in the world and thank you for watching.